to work out the volume of a cylinder, first of all you have to find the area of the end of the cylinder. So this is in the shape of a circle. So the formula for the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. Once you have this cross-sectional area, you then can multiply this answer by the height. So the formula for the volume will be pi r squared times by the height of the cylinder. So let's apply this to exam this example here. So we've got to work out the volume of this cylinder. The cylinder has a diameter of 10 centimetres and has a length of 30 centimetres. So we have to substitute the radius and the height into this formula here. So let's just copy the formula down one more time. So it's V equals pi r squared times by the height. So we just have to be careful on this example because this is the diameter of the cylinder. It's all the way across. We only want the radius. So the radius is halfway across. So if we half 10, that will give us a radius of 5. So that would be pi times 5 squared. And then all we need to do next is multiply by the length of the prism, which is the same as the height. So we times this answer by 30. So if you type this on your calculator, so it would be shift pi times 5 squared times 30. So as an exact answer we get 750 pi, but let's write it down uh, to one decimal place. So our volume will be 2356.2. Also don't forget the units of volume, since it's in centimetres, the units will be centimetres cubed, and that's to one decimal place.